Hi everybody, I'm Henry of BlueHeronArts.com. Now I'm going to show you the process of uh, carving a custom design um, image mark for artist uh, named uh, Mario in uh, Sweden. And uh, she has uh, a Chinese nail chop done before, and then this one is considered as a, a signature mark or something uh, she designed herself. Uh, I made a printout on the laser printer so it can be transferred directly onto the stone with this special liquid called the acetone nail polish remover. So it's a very dear copy of the original design. Uh, just you know, rub it and uh, use the liquid and then uh, rub it. And this is the mirror image. Um, you can see why I carve as a reference. I'm not going to do it. This is a very small Qingtian stone. The one is, uh, has the noise or the sound. You can see it's very crispy. And the design has a very good uh, sense of uh, margin design. The, the margin is not straight lines. The corners are irregular, rounded ones. So I try to follow exactly of the artist design. This uh, script is known as the birds and uh, worm script, very uh, often seen on bronze uh, whales in the warring state period. According to the artist, she got from the Qing state uh, king or emperor's seal. Some of them are uh, recognizable, but some may not. It doesn't matter because this is considered as a huaya or the um, signature mark seal. The image mark seal is a kind of seal uh, most popular in the Yuan, the Mongol dynasty in the 13th century. This is like a deer head or something, a uh, horn. When you carve, you, the knife is uh, uh, at the angle, so the uh, inner side, the sharp angle side is smooth, the outside is rough. So always uh, make sure the smooth side towards the line. This is a positive or yang style carving, so we carve out the backgrounds.
curves in the circles were difficult for beginners. You have to turn the knife and the stone. That's why I don't use the um, special fixture tour, you know, to, uh, just for easy handling flexibility. a single stroke, just like a writing or pen, to keep the flow of the energy. smaller knife to do the little eye. This uh, second character looks like a bird with beak. Very cute.
feels very different when you carve on the computer with mouse and uh, with knife. You know, they always something uh, accidental. It's a, it's a real stone because the texture may be different, uh, not e really even sometimes. So it got chips. So, so that's. Uh, why even you can do it on a computer, you may not be able to carve it um, yourself. So I'll be more than happy to help you execute the design you might have, like this one. This is a very delicate part, I want to be sure. I'm looking at this reference. The beak. You might see better than me in a zooming lens. to finish the margin part. And corner should be rounded. do some cleaning up and then we'll do the first imprint. Okay, now I have cleaned it up and I'm going to make a first imprint. Uh, I've used this uh, rubber pad or mat underneath it and uh, there's a student uh, or um, kind of inexpensive ink pad I use. It's a fabric so you won't get very uh, messy here. This kind of seal you don't need to apply too much pres pressure.
to keep the line thin. thin. See, this is how it works. Okay, um, I think uh, it's almost done. So I only need to take care of this corner, the square, and uh, almost. The left is right, so you can use a mirror if you will to make uh, sure the site you're working on is uh, correct. Okay, now I'm going to make a second imprint. I'm using this uh, student level or inexpensive uh, testing uh, sail pad to avoid uh, make the good ones uh, dirty, you know, so I, I will use the, f uh, the official, the real seal ink for the official stamp later. Okay, now it looks uh, complete. Okay, now I'm going to put in my uh, album first. This is still ink paste. It's kind of uh, heavy, so you get less granny, more solid. And I also have this uh, L-shaped uh, uh, standing ruler so to uh, position the corner. And you can lift it without moving the ruler so you can check if it's not uh, dark enough, you can make a second uh, stamp up above it. But this one is okay, so that completes the design and the carving. Um, I would make a, another stamp for the client. as you can see. Okay, another perfect imprint. Okay, thank you for watching and thank uh, Meryl for commissioning again uh, for your signature mark seal. If anybody want to have uh, your name seal carved in Chinese uh, seal stone, please contact me at the Blue Heron Arts. Thank you. Goodbye.